How you doing boys? I'm going to teach you how to play Skate 3 on PC. So, first things first, you want to go over to rpcs 3 website, uh, rpcs I, I can never get the name right, uh, .net, and download the emulator. You'll get this zip file here, with all this stuff in. You just want to, um, what's it called, you just want to extract it to a folder. And then you also want to go type in uh, PS3 update. Uh, this link here will do and download the update and it'll be a .pup I don't need it, I've already got it drop it inside your rpcs3 folder uh, mine's there because to run the actual I mean, you need valid legitimate firmware and uh, now we're going to do uh, technically illegal stuff and that's we're going to go to this skate free download here I've got for you um, it's direct link or is it google drive it's google drive link um, so there's multiple links you can get it in parts and I hate the ads on this website, but you got to disable. I've got to disable my ad block because I don't know sites like that. It's like a lot of sites, pretty gear. So you can download as uh, one file, which is what I did. Uh, it's issue string kernel link. Yep. Click to continue. Continue. You go wait ten seconds, which is pretty annoying. You're gonna need a controller for this as well, like an Xbox 361 or a PS4 one, because it's compatible with it now. Since uh, not there, it's a get link. There you go. I've already downloaded it, as you can see. I've previously clicked on it. Uh, extract it, um, and it will give you a folder. I've placed mine on my local D disk uh, as this. I've extracted it. It's got these three files in here. All you need really care about is this one because that's got a lot of main stuff in it. So, open our PCS3 for the first time. It's going to take you through a quick start menu. You're probably going to want to ignore that and just go file, install firmware, and uh, ps3 update.pup and you're pretty much golden i've already got it installed uh, so it'll go super quick um it might take a bit it's going to generate a lot of stuff and uh, i'm actually going to uninstall the game real quick uh i don't like how i don't know how to <laughs> well you want to install the game which uh, all you do is boot game a slight folder like that and it'll pop up on here and it'll compile a lot of stuff, like depending on how many threads you have, you'll have like uh, a lot of little boxes pop up, and it's basically just gonna unpack the file into a format that you can read. And I've crashed the application now by closing it uh, too early. But once it's done that, it'll try to boot the game for the first time. You, you probably wanna close it. And you wanna go to configuration, CPU, use these settings, they're all pretty much default, apart from this one gave me error size automatically use um, load required libraries GPU you want to go to Vulkan as a lot of new graphics cards like 1060s and upwards will work pretty well you can change the resolution to how you want but it does uh, have a little bit of impact on uh, frame rate and put your frame rate limit to 60 because the game can be pretty unstable as any game on here so yeah once you've done that you have to boot the game for the first time and I'm going to teach you how to get in game because this is not technically fully compatible with our PCS3 and this is going to be super loud actually so I'm going to mute it because I'm running my audio from my TV. Put it down there. But as you can see we're in, make sure you've set up your controller which I'll let it load. If you don't know how to set up your controller it's in configuration and pads. Uh, I'm using the Xbox one so just X input configure and then just press save because it is a default. So you're going to get a lot of errors but these don't mean anything because everything's buggy in this emulator but it works so we can be thankful. So once you're in, press the start button, ok, yep, ok, yep. Ah, oh, I'm already in, I forgot about that. But um, when you, ooh, it's a bit laggy when you first load in. As you can see, once you yeah, just let it load for a second, it does run a lot better. Actually, I think a better place to go is change my uh, university district campus entrance. Here we go. Put the PCU. It runs a lot better, but the game isn't. It's opening up a GL. Right, I'm gonna close it a second because it's decided. Ah, oh, we're gonna ignore everything you say and open in GL. Open GL, and we don't want that. 
at all. Is it going to open in Vulcan now? Why is it in an open GL? Right, it, it's been a sack of shit, but if you can get it to work in open uh, in uh, Vulcan, it does run a hell of a lot better. But it runs, so I can't complain. Yeah, uh, also when you start the game, I won't have this because I've already got a save there, but what you do is, when you go to a character, you, you can't create a character, um, just use a preset character, then when it loads into the tutorial, uh, after you've done the first tutorial, it's going to crash, it's going to crash, it's going to crash, I just had a big slowdown and then speed up, it's a bit like that. It has to compile shaders wherever you go. So the more you ride a place, the faster the game actually runs and the smoother. But you're still playing Skate Free on PC and it's only going to get better. I can't do any tricks because I, I haven't played it in a while. But as you can see, I'm terrible. Uh, go to market. But yeah, the shadows are a bit buggy. Meow. Look at that, 60 FPS, although it does drop to like 18, but Shh. it's still pretty amazing. Am I going to grind? No, I'm just going to face plant and die. But the emulator is only getting better with time and games are running like, a lot better, but well, the PS3 architecture is very complicated because it used a 7 cell CPU made by Sony I believe so it wasn't like the Xbox architecture where it was pretty similar to a PC it was completely new so emulating it's a lot harder and skate free even if you're on PC it would be a quite a demanding game so when you're uh, emulating the thing you know it's just gonna be a, a big a big a big amount of difficulty for the game I mean for your PC oh, nuts what oh. I'm still getting the hang of things. Yeah, it's crashed. But, um, yeah, it is slowly getting there, and it is a good game to play. Um, thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial kind of helpful, it wasn't really a tutorial, more just showing that you, know, you can play it, it's possible. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Goodbye, I'll see you later. Oh, 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 oh,